so I can respond to the bullshit that I have to say every day. <laughs> okay, anyways, now let's see what's good in the chat, man. Hold on, I, I kind of did this shit a little impromptu. I've been going through the ringer, dogs. I mean, we all have problems, man. But man, I've been, I've been, I've been thrown all around, bro. Running all over the fucking city, trying to get my shit straightened out, man. Like as you all know, I'm trying to work on this house situation. But of course, thanks to the housing market crash in New York City just being so expensive, over the top, bourgeoisie. Getting paperwork in order for that kind of thing is difficult, and it is absolutely necessary. You're not going to be able to finesse it in any other way without spending a bunch of bread. And you know what? YouTube money ain't so hot these days. <laughs> I don't think I have to be the one to say it, bro. Motherfucking ad revenue is trash, nigga. <laughs> but I mean, that's not like the, the focus of it all. It's just paperwork is important here in New York. I've heard, I've heard Rogers Bay say in LA, the shit ain't that big of a deal. You can come over there and you could be a fucking, you could be a convict who just fucking burglarized a house and was locked up for 20 years. You can find an apartment. No, no, no question. You can go right up to a fucking broker. You can go to H&R Block. They'll be like, hmm, okay, we, we got you. Here in New York, nigga, if you got, <laughs> it's, it's the other story. If the only thing, if you don't have any credit, bro, it's game over. So, yeah, I've been doing a lot of grown up shit lately, man. That's, it's tiresome, man. You know, I, this is the kind of shit that makes me wonder. I, I don't know if I'm fit for this adult thing, man. <laughs> I'm not fit to be no adult, <laughs> nigga, fuck. I like doing what I want. I don't like doing that. I don't like conforming. Why do you think I do this shit for a living? Uh, I'm not, I'm not reading any comments. I haven't read any comments yet. Fuck. All right. Let me just finish setting this shit up. I should have had this done earlier, but I was tired and it just kind of hit me last minute. You know what? I, maybe I'll feel better if I do a little bit of a stream. You know, I always kind of seem to get into the mood. You know, it's you, you would think I would know that for a fact by now. Like, 100%, you do a fucking stream, even if you've been having a rough patch and you'll be good. Dogs, I, I I still don't like. I'm 27 now, bro. I, I need to learn these lessons. Anyways, uh, let me let me get a little bit of music going, man. Break up some of this um this uh this quiet shit in the background. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna play. I'm just gonna throw the ran random song on the playlist, man. The fuck is this? Let me let me um turn the volume down. The music doesn't even really matter. I just want something in the background to break up the noise. Um, all right. What the fuck is this thing about to go? Hold on, guys. I'm going to read y'all out in a second. My niggas are in here. I know. I, how the fuck I started streaming? I haven't looked at the chat once. This shit is a fucking crime at this point. All right. Uh, let, me, let me play some shit. Oh, uh, no. We ain't going to play that. Man, that's, that's that sad music. <laughs> I ain't going to play that either. That's some demonic shit right there. Why the fuck would I want to play? Eh, uh, I fuck with Migos. All right. But like I said, I'm not even here paying attention to the fucking to the song or whatever all right guys thank you all for tuning in with your boy it is currently april 26th i think it's thursday morning or something or wednesday night technically speaking kanye west just came off of a huge tirade on twitter <laughs> i know i'm just jumping straight into the fucking topic uh what is going on in the chat man how niggas doing tonight who's in here with me who are the um the night crawlers right now we have smashologist on um, what's going on man he said me go <laughs> yo i, I know I, it just randomly came on i don't know um good to see that you're awake from schleek man I'm, I'm usually awake at this time um i would normally just be playing some games to de-stress but man i just wasn't in the mood today was like a hard one man this credit shit kicking my ass um etiquette can you give me my money back i need five dollars for crack as long as you share some with me um <laughs> kanye though man what the fuck i don't know that's a whole topic right there we'll get into that shit later i want to potentially risk losing a couple of sponsors in here by bringing up trump's bitch ass uh how was the fan meetup that shit was cool man it was a little while ago but the shit was clean um i'm glad the niggas came through we had like maybe 30 heads that popped in there and everybody played it real chill you remember the rules that i put out there i said don't come to my fucking meetup if you're not gonna turn up with me nigga i don't want no bitch niggas and thankfully everyone that showed up minus one dude was able to get turned the fuck up and that was that was a good look bro that whole that whole thing was chill nobody had it wasn't even too much cameras or nothing it was just me and my niggas me and all my niggas doing well dog <laughs> i'm telling you this shit was cool I, I would love to do more stuff like that um of course not that many people show up because you know it was on a tuesday got the girl in the back and she's tuesday on top of it it was late as fuck that i announced the shit but i, I kind of like the idea that was the first fan meetup you or me, whatever you call it, whatever the fuck you call it, that, that's the first one I ever had. 
an experience to remember. Um, I'll definitely do it better next time. Um, I'm loving the Kanye stuff from Velisify. What's going on, man? He says, um, the internet falling apart is great. Yo, Velisify, you know Duncan Knee Deep was trolling the shit out of me? You know what? People troll me now, Velis. They, they, people come up to me now at conventions and they're like, oh, you're Velisify's best friend, right? It's like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I'm not this nigga's best friend. I'm not even your friend, dude. But people troll the fuck out of me off of your name. And now I gotta deal with that shit. I was at the table. You know, as a matter of fact, Technically speaking, outside of Duncan and Shelby and uh, I, I didn't fuck with any of them Pokemon niggas at the table beforehand. But after meeting them, you know, meeting Luke and even the heated Mo, isn't that Nappy's boy? Apparently, I thought he was a bitch ass nigga at some point. But dude, he's cool. He's actually chill in real life, dogs. It's like the beef I have with these dudes. You meet him and it's like, huh? You actually get along. Like, nigga threw back shots. I gave him shots and he was like, yo, that nigga fucking numb Nexus. He said, dog, you changed my life. <laughs> <laughs> Num Nexus, <laughs> I fucked him up. I fucked up Num Nexus so bad that nigga was tripping off the alcohol. I gave him the Jello shot. He said, "Damn, dog, you want me to take this?" I'm like, "Nigga, come on, bro. You gotta, you gotta ride with me. You riding or what?" He was like, "You got it, dog." <laughs> he nigga took the whole thing. <laughs> he took the whole. I have. I'm the worst. <laughs> I'm the absolute worst. I put the peer pressure on this nigga. He collapsed. <laughs> Uh, but then again, the pressure was on everybody, man. It was fun. You, know? you don't think I'm out here motherfucking forcing drinks now, niggas. Throw like, nah, nah. The shit was a cool vibe. Very, very fun. And by the way, Duncan Knee Deep is an absolute monster. What the fuck does he have flowing through his veins? Because it ain't blood. I'll tell you that much. Dude got fucking adrenaline, just pure adrenaline in him, man. When when Duncan, <laughs> you, you give Duncan some kind of advice, and he'll roll with that bitch to the sunset. That's why I can't wait to go to his wedding. I know I'll die there. Um, let me continue reading some chat, man. Etika, how large is your music playlist? I got like 3,000 songs, I think. Um, fun fact, I drink for the first time in my life with Etika from Philly Beats You. Oh, shit. This nigga Philly's in here? What's going on, nigga? He says, this man is a definition of peer pressure. <laughs> Don't give him the wrong idea. <sighs> what can I say? It's too fun. I love drink. I love drinking with niggas, bro. I can't help it. When I'm at a fucking party, when I'm at a convention, when I'm in a group and we're all at a table and there's food and there's good people and the vibes are clean, dogs, it just a demon takes over. And I'm just like, and you know I know how to talk real good. I can easily put on the white voice if I need to influence somebody who's not from the specific culture that I come from. So I mean, boom, I can just be like, hey, take a shot. Just do it. Do it. It'll make you feel better. I'm horrible. Did you enable all chat? Whoopsie. Gotta change that shit up. Um, dude, this option looking crazy right now. I need a fucking air conditioner in here, man. It's getting hot in this bitch. Whew. Anyways, I'm wilding out. I'm wilding out. I need to chill, bro. Or <laughs> my, my bitch ass, I'm already feeling good on this bitch, man. What's what's going on? Let me continue reading some comments. Um, Darth Skeldra saying, you are a terrible influence. Well, I'm not the worst. I, I, there, there's people far worse than me, but I, I'm definitely high up on the ladder. Reasons I can never come up during the week. Oh, because you're, you're scared? Don't be scared. Man, you should be excited. <laughs> this shit will be fun. Niggas, oh, you should, at the meetup. Oh, at the fan meetup. I fucked up some niggas too. That shit was crazy. The man knows how to get shit going. Make sure the alcohol is flowing. From Blockhead Gaming. Bro, this and Blockhead. That's the fucking point. What's, what else do you do when you're in a group of friends, nigga? I mean, clearly, I know how to have fun without alcohol being involved, too. I don't want any of you SJW-ass niggas rolling in here talking about, Oh, you always want to have people under the influence. You're such a fucking, you're a horrible fucking... And no, don't, it's not about that. I can easily go out and do an amusement park. I can go on a fucking meeting. Don't have any alcohol involved. But, I mean... It just makes things fun, especially when you're in a party type environment. It just helps. But anyways, enough about me and my horrible influence on niggas. What else y'all got to say today, man? Um, I didn't have anything planned, but, you know, shit always seems to pop off at some point. We have Theory CL. What's going on, man? Theory, nice to see a uh, regular back in here. Then again, I shouldn't be surprised because it's a sponsored stream. So, of course, only the most hardcore, the hardcore are going to be in here. Theory says, damn, them white joy. Oh, baby, you see it? Hold on, baby. Baby. Do you, do you, uh, baby, do you see this? The Coke White Joy-Con? The Coke White Joy-Con? Baby, this is, this is that Pyro Escobar Joy-Con right there. <laughs> mm, God damn, that's a hit. That's a hit, right? This is a bump. Dogs, it's so white. Baby, you can look like powder. 
Dog, this is the cleanest coca niggas ever cut, bro. Nintendo. Oh, man. I had these bitches customized, man. I just ordered some shells off of Amazon and threw the shit on. I, I've taken apart so many Joy-Con and put them together again. I, I probably have earned the title Joy-Con Boy Master or something. I don't know. But that that's my latest project, man. I, I, I forgot to move it because this shit should be charging because I just did that shit today. Um, thank you very much though, Theory. Appreciate that. Um, D-Brand was like, because fuck you. Man, nah, nah, D-Brand, D-Brand, uh, we, we're cool, bro. They hit me up, man. D-Brand, they, they, oh, what the fuck was that? D-Brand, they're cool niggas, man. But, um, yeah, I, I just like the shells better. Um, this get, I got dirty quickly. Yeah, it's gonna get dirty quick. I can't take these bitches out everywhere. Especially living in fucking Brooklyn, man. Like, I'm sitting on the train with these bitches in the past. Oh my god! Dogs, if I wear some pants, I got some, some, some jeans, nigga. With the fucking bleach, nigga. It's over for those. These white Joy-Con are gonna turn so shitty. I'm never taking these out the house, bro. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to lick it again, man. Um, hold on, let me continue. I'm not even reading that many comments. I, let me read some more comments, man. Let me, there might be some more people in here that I recognize. Those Joy-Con skins have some next disease and Etika lick one. Well, you know what? If I do wind up dying or catching an infection, you'll know the exact moment. Um, Etika got them bleach Joy-Cons indeed. Bro, I got the fucking white. I got the white power Joy-Con. <laughs> What's the? This is black power, right? What's the symbol for white power? <laughs> how do how do I how do I promote the Caucasian race? I want to know. I've never. Is it this too? I think it's this too. How the fuck the black power and the white power slogan got the same fucking symbol? Like, what 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 is this? Cracker attack. <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Listen, can we not go derogatory racist in this bitch for one night? I told you I'm not feeling good. Y'all motherfuckers are getting y'all y'all making me y'all making me say too much crazy shit on here. I'm supposed to be not in a good mood, alright? Can we can we try to keep things on a more somber note? <laughs> You're going to Sakura Festival this weekend. Oh, the shit at um the shit at the park, nigga? Yeah, fuck it. I'll I'll, I'll go. Fuck it. I'll, I'll bag me a Sakura bitch. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way, ladies. All right, I'm just saying that ironically. I'm um, said satir satirically, satire. I don't know. If, um, I think the Nazi salute is the closest thing to white power, but that might be. Too I don't know if the Nazis and the white and the, and the Ku Klux Klan are on the same level. Are they? Man, it's hard to keep up with these racist groups, man. What what hate group categorizes into which nigga? It's hard to keep up with. Um, Anna Cross, what's going on? Um, saying there was a joke at one point where they tried to convince people that this was the symbol for white power. Oh, really? I don't know, man. I can't really tell from this angle what this symbol means. <laughs> Can you look closer? Can you tell me what this means, nigga? Uh, <laughs> Etika, talk about the switch hack. I'll do that in a second. Satire. Uh, I, I, you know, my pronunciation for some words, man. Sometimes I'd be fucking up. Um, hey, nigga, you watching Infinity War? What kind of question is that? Of course I'm watching Infinity War, nigga. Who isn't? <laughs> if they aren't, then they don't belong in the human race to me. They don't exist, my dude. Um, you're going to jail. Chill. For what, bro? I'm just talking about white power. What? What? How controversial is that? Um, Hammerhard's in here with 20 bucks. He says, no shots today, my man. Time to chill. Also, I saw Infinity War last night. So good, bro. Speak of the devil. Um, who? Who? Well, if, if you saw it, man, does it live up to the hype? Is that movie truly the wave or not? I don't know, but we'll see, man. I see it on Friday, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm just gonna take some. Uh, I'm gonna take some energy drinks before the fucking movie, so that way I stay awake. Cause I heard that bitch is two and a half hours, two hours and forty minutes, dogs. Nigga, that movie's longer than my dick. How the fuck am I gonna stay awake for the whole thing? I don't know, but. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to be prepared. A couple of espresso shots, a monster, and a little bit of Viagra, Cialis, and bam, I'll be set for the fucking movie. I'll be able to stay up. And I see the shit at 12 at night, nigga. So that means I'm not walking out the theater until like maybe 3 a.m. And you know you gotta wait for the credits to roll and all that bullshit. So I wind up leaving that bitch 3:30, nigga. I mean, you know, not to leave a Marvel movie before the credits are over. So I mean, uh, um. Man's gonna spoil the shit out of the movie. I mean, I don't care even if you spoil, man. I, it doesn't matter to me. It's still gonna be a crazy movie. Um, Etika, just me or is April ad revenue been trash? Nigga, all ad revenue's been trash. Like, look, I don't post long videos like yo ass dudes, nigga. Like, I, my ad revenue's been garbage for, for over a year now. I mean, even though my videos make a hell of a lot of views, it's like because they're short form, under ten minutes, dogs. There, there's some video, I mean, I could have a 500,000 view video and I can make like a hundred bucks off of that shit. It, it's crazy out here. I mean, I'm still grateful that I'm able to even make money. This motherfucker's out there getting that yellow demonetization symbol that ain't even pulling a dime from their shit. 
it's hard out here man i mean seeing a future where up and coming youtubers who are brand new to the scene are going to be able to like make an impact and actually carve out like a future for themselves financially with this shit it's hard for me to see that not 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 the way it is right now but things will change i think this is just a trial that eventually will end in our favor we just have to bear through with it man you know struggle and all that shit but youtube is far too powerful youtubers have too much influence and there's just too much domination of social media by us for it to just end like that unless it does and i'm you know just being an idiot um did you ever watch what green donated to you no i did not not sure what the fuck you even talking about hammerheart by the way thank you for the donation thank you for all the sponsors that came through too um i didn't get to read some of the earlier comments but um if anybody commented earlier and i didn't get to see it comment again so i can actually read what the fuck you had to say nigga um i'm not eligible for monsters oh yeah, yeah if you're even you're fucking eligible so you got to get eligible and then you got to get the yellow <laughs> you can go get the pet has the yellow mark and if you can do that then you can finally earn your two cents on a video <laughs> you know hey, hey guys youtube's the future of income that's for sure i saw you drinking that corona on cindy's story from ej lennon yeah the corona was all right man i mean i don't really fuck with beer too much but the corona they said it's like light work and something easy for you to pick up if you're you know not a heavy heavy beer guy and i'm, I'm not really heavy on beer so it was good i kind of enjoyed it man um but i would never pick it up on my own i mean i would drink it if there was a bunch of niggas in a circle drinking beer which kind of what what it was and as soon as i put that beer down you should have seen what was well it wasn't recorded as soon as i put it down after ej you know that part where i was like it's 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 okay or whatever the fuck i said i put the shit down and said now let's do some shots and i got everybody in that bitch fucking turned there was a nigga there who bought me like a fucking gun with tequila in it and I had him so fucked up, man. Like, that nigga was like, Dogs, I gotta work in the morning. How am I gonna... <laughs> I said, well, fuck it. You, ready? you want the Uber? Or you gonna stay? He said, I'm gonna stay. <laughs> I was like, you got work, nigga. It was so funny, man. Etika, you wear glasses? No, I don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, Kanye, the GOAT. I don't give a fuck about his political views. He's still the GOAT, in my opinion. I agree. Um... 90%. I mean, obviously, political views, that's sensitive for some people, even myself, but I would never let political views get in the way of my relationship with someone if it wasn't something that directly impacted my, like, existence with them. You know what I'm saying? Um, PCB, thank you very much, man. Give me a second. I want to I wanna read what these motherfuckers got to say, man. When you beating Xenoblade 2? I have no fucking idea. He donated a trap remix that I made. I might have seen that then wear your glasses ej i don't own any glasses um etika talk about fucking up other people but never talks about himself getting fucked up what do you mean you get to see the shit live <laughs> nigga how many times have i gotten fucking destroyed on camera it doesn't happen as frequently anymore because i'm just a fucking monster like that i'm built like a tank out here listen i need a whole new liquor created for me other youtubers are out here pushing t-shirt merch and shit i'm out here pushing liquor my nigga i might make my own bottle one day on some 50 cent on some chris brown on some p diddy my boy watch me come out with a fucking liquor called joy con boys every but then again how i'm a nintendo <laughs> they're gonna be like what the fuck this nigga promotes nintendo shit he's got a liquor yes nigga <laughs> that's our first time bro um stream ended before you could watch it oh it did ah shit i probably didn't get a chance to see it then man but i mean if, if it was your was it your shit my boy i mean I, I i would say i'll check it out but right now i'm just not in the fucking state of mind to do so so maybe later on man but you know i'm just i'm just not in it. i'm not i'm barely even keeping up with the fucking music right now i'm just scrolling through twitter my nigga um on some kingsman shit yo i remember the heyday for that nigga got straight twisted bro yeah that's when i was like first starting to celebrate big donations with shots that day was fun <laughs> that, that, that those times are hard man uh Etika, did you see the new sonic mania trailer for the dlc yeah i saw it it's pretty cool man i'm glad mighty and that nigga um what is it mighty and ray well uh, yeah I'm, I'm glad they came back i mean it's whatever um we had this dude drunk and tear up and tell us how much he loves us i never told y'all niggas i love y'all fuck out of here missy what the hell are you talking about <laughs> uh, let me see here etika's built like a true wakanda of course my boy um we had a donation from pcb he says good to finally see a stream that is not in the middle of my shift but two things um to show for your viewing pleasure they're safe for work this is a tweet from super bash bro and another tweet from the same nigga what the fuck are these let's take a look see and the page doesn't exist, nigga. What the fuck? I keep... Oh, wait, oh, it's probably because the fucking tweet got shortened. Um, all right, another meme. Hey, Poppy Meme, saving the bees. That's my boy right there. He says when your homies are asleep and the only person you have to talk to is your wife. Yeah, the, the Venom shit. I didn't see the trailer for that yet. Uh, I don't really care to see it until I actually go see the fucking um, Infinity War shit. Um, it's cool. I mean, you know, it, it, it's a good stab at it, you know. It's good. 
Um, you love us, nigga. Fuck out of here. What you mean, bro? I don't love none of y'all niggas, man. But I, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm happy that you enjoy the content. That's all. I'm ready to see I could get killed in Infinity War. Final Fantasy 15 is in Minecraft. Yeah, I saw that shit, bro. Nigga, you play God of War? I've never played a game in the series. I know it's good, though. But I've always known people that play the shit. I played a little bit on, like, the PSP and shit, but never, like, myself. But... I, I can't really even fuck with consoles now unless it's the Switch, to be honest with you, man. I'm, I'm barely home, nigga. But I already explained that. Um, we got 982 of us in here. How about we do a little bit of a Kahoot session? I, I, I can't come up with a fucking Kahoot right now, man. I ain't in the right mindset. But this, fucking, this fucking house shit is stressing me out, bro. But I mean, you know, things will conclude in my favor, of course. But it's just... Uh, if Y'all wonder why I haven't been around. You know, my mood is directly tied to my productivity, my work ethic. So, so, I mean, if I'm feeling like shit, I'm not going to be able to produce as much content because my head is clouded. I'm trying to get things cleared up. But, of course, once the house comes through, and that's when things change up a little bit because now a bunch of options are opened up. And we have, on top of it all, the guarantee of there not being noise complaints, at least when I'm recording. Maybe when I throw my crazy ass house parties and a nigga's dead on the fucking, on, on the grass outside the front and we got red cups all over the place looking like project x with a bitch jumping in the pool from the roof then maybe i'll get a few noise complaints from the neighbors maybe <laughs> from this house but on um, but you know what that that's fine that's expected but at least it won't happen when i'm like talking and shit i don't get noise complaints here but you know what's small i can't really do much here but i mean eventually she'll be i'm hoping that by e3 i'll be set so that way i can hang a nigga from the roof and i'll be good and that'll kind of be a way for my channel to have some impact when the games get announced and shit. You know what I'm saying? How, I'll be some funny shit. You see me in the same setting as I am right now. Talking, I'm introducing a topic on a live stream even. And you see a nigga behind me hung. <laughs> not hung dick wise, nigga. Pause. Hung by the fucking... <laughs> no, not Sayori, my nigga. Hung by the fucking legs. Just... <laughs> from a party going on he had to suffer punishment or some shit that'd be some crazy shit that's the kind of shit i want to do i can't do that here you can't hang a nigga here <laughs> um or maybe you could <laughs> maybe i have <laughs> anyways um he logan paul and out here i'm telling you bro y'all ain't seen nothing yet you think logan paul did it bad suicide forest nigga i'm about to be the first youtuber to commit a murder on camera no sam pepper my nigga <laughs> <laughs> Hold on a second. We got a big donation coming through here. This one is definitely one to remember, man. This is for the boys right here. Who, who, who gave this? This is taking a little while to come through, though. But thank you very much to this individual. This is a uh, Chappy Cow. Never, never seen that name before. Sounds like you got a, a bad case of dry lip or something. You fucking cotton mouth nigga. He says, I saw that you were feeling down on your Twitter. I hope that this makes up for it. God damn, that's really nice of you, man. Thank you, thank you. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll give you some of the money back so you can get you some fucking bomb for them lips if you really that chappy. He says, keep your head up. Can't wait for you to reach that one milli. Ah, a milli, a milli, a milli. Oh, man, of course, man. I'm excited for the prospect of it. I mean, it's looking like it's kind of practical or maybe kind of possible even that you know i'll hit it maybe this year who knows i'm not gonna count my eggs before they hatch but i need to get the ball rolling to be able to you know not even just for the million sub mark but just in general to get my shit on point like there's so many ideas and and goals for videos that i've had that i've just not been able to pull off thanks to the space being too small not being kind of restricted at least I can, you know, yell my ass off and nothing will happen. But yeah, thank you very, very much, Chappie. I appreciate that. Etika, you ever heard of Lil Tay? Man, free Tay K to reaction. That nigga's a monster. He apparently killed two niggas. Don't free that nigga. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's speculated, you know what I'm saying? But, it, you know, if, if that does wind up being the case, then that's fucked up. But, I mean, if he didn't hurt anybody and he's a completely uh, authority-respecting individual, then by all means, please, free free take K the race. Fuck a beat. I was trying to beat a case, but I don't beat that case. Bitch, I did the race. Beat it up, raw nuts, chunny face. <laughs> Pop a nigga, then I go out my way. <laughs> I love that shit. Bro, that's the most, mo that's the most fucking... Pop a nigga, then I go on my way? Like, dog to a picnic or something you just killed someone that's crazy i love that song man this old dude <laughs> but i love it yo by the way meek mill got freed from jail for somehow some way bro now he can continue to get simped by drake <laughs> i love it bro meek welcome back to the industry dogs i thought he was about to get money danced out here but no <laughs> i'm happy for him though man all jokes aside i'm glad that nigga got freed up bro that judge was definitely biased get a little cat it'll make you feel happy as fuck 
I can't deal with no litter at the moment, man. I love cats, but I, I need more space before I'm able to do that, man. I definitely, as soon as I get this house, trust me, I'm probably gonna get two cats, two pussies around the house. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's like, an, 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 I heard that that naturally is like a huge stress reliever, but I can't deal in a small, you know, cats, they be shitting and they be pissing. Did you know cat piss and shit naturally has ingredients in it that get you fucked up? Like cat shit ammonia. Do you know what that does to the human brain? It fucking, it makes you trip. And their piss has like these hallucinogens in it. I remember one time in my old apartment, two apartments ago, and I had Bombay in the fucking apartment. I was one time trying to like clean, by the way, I saw the donation. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Give me a moment. Bombay took a piss underneath the couch, so I had to wash this shit out. So I reached under that motherfucker with a sponge trying to use, you know, trying to clean it. And... Out of nowhere, the room started spinning, and I was like, bro, what the fuck's wrong with me? I literally, it wasn't like a trip where I'm like, yeah, it was a bad trip, bro. Like, I felt like my a headache, and everything was fucking, I was like feeling dizzy. I was like, what the fuck's going on here? And Bombay's just looking at me like, nigga? <laughs> and, I, and bro, trying to find out, you can get high off the shit. That's so crazy to me. Um, EJ Lennon says, I hope you do another meetup, hopefully. I can come through. Also, try, um... Mangers, it's an Irish cider. I don't really drink too much cider. I'll try it, man. If it's got licks in it and it'll get me fucked up and get the party turned, then sure thing, by all means. Um, thank you very much for the contribution, EJ. And there was somebody that donated before you, too. Chappie, once again, thank you. Um, they trip out their prey and then finish the job. There's no way that's legit how cats get their fucking food, man. In the wild, no. Niggas in Ratchet Ass, Ohio broke my car six times. They stole my shampoo from my gym bag and tossed my clothes into the street. Well, Fredo. Who do we have to run up on? Listen, I don't know how many... Where's this nigga live? In Ohio? Dogs, I know I gotta have some boys in Ohio. If there was a real inquiry where there was truly a nigga part of the squad that I fucks with getting pressed, I'm not even trying to sound like a tough guy. I ain't no New York gangster. I ain't a motherfucking mobster. But I'm just saying, I, I, I defend myself. And if the shit was justified, then yeah, bro, I would do my own version of Bully Hunters. But instead of helping niggas in Call of Duty or Modern, whatever the fuck, I be helping niggas in real life, putting boots to the ground, man. I, I, I'd put my foot up somebody's ass for the Joy-Con boys, you know what I'm saying? And I would upload it to YouTube. That shit would be crazy. No, so we just roll up with a TV. Oh, actually, I'm good. <laughs> That'd be funny. Man. Has there ever been anything like that before? Probably. Um, You like cheesing? What the fuck does that mean? Bully Hunters IRL sponsored by Nintendo. <laughs> sponsored god damn yo hey nigga will you be going to um anime new york city in november i want to get fucked up with you some and some anime thotties of course i'll be there bro last year i fucking lost my mind i i got a little bit too hammered though because i was drinking with everybody i didn't throw up but i, I was fucking incapacitated by like 11 p.m but i had taken like 25 shots so fuck my life and i but thankfully i ate that's probably why i didn't throw up um it wouldn't have worked with how counter-strike is structured as a game uh I guess so. They don't they do this shit off of Steam. Um, Canton is an hour from my place in Youngstown. Let's post up on these boys and bust them Joy-Con men style. What the fuck, nigga? No, okay, he's he's real with it. Bro, if I need to, I'll call my boy Thug Yoshi too. That nigga's a fucking goon. He'll come through easy. If I tell Thug to fly up from fucking Florida, trust me, them Florida niggas, if you're from Florida... I don't mean any offense by it, but your fucking state is ridiculously insane. Like, there's something wrong with these niggas. I feel like everybody in Florida, with breakfast, they have a couple of bath salts mixed in, bro. Like, it's just something's in the air. Don't you niggas got swamps down there? A bio down there or whatever? A bayou? Bio? Look, if I... New Orleans, bro, they got the food, but Florida got swamps. Fucking Shrek can pop out, man. I, I ain't fucking with. They ate a nigga's face over there. They, they they killed the nigga and put him under the Christmas tree in Florida. It's a real story, bro. If you remember from 2011, 12, bro, this shit really happened. And that's just like far back. This shit happening recently, man. Like, I can't fuck with Florida. Them niggas are crazy, bro. That's why I call them up. I hit up my niggas in Kissing Me. I hit up my niggas in motherfucking, uh, where, where else, man? I hit my niggas in Disney. <laughs> <laughs> them Disney niggas. I hit up swoos, bro. I tell that nigga come through, bro. I'm Salt saying that black man is back to collect money from his viewers. Ah, oh, yes, of course, Salt, man. Like, like, I've been waiting. I've been counting down the shekels I've been receiving in the stream since we started, bro. Your niggas are behind schedule. I need at least three thousand more dollars before this stream can continue. Sponsors, pay up, niggas. Oh wait, you already are paying up. My bad. <laughs> pay more. <laughs> what the fuck, Salt? Oh, it's good to see you, man. Um. 
I think you're the only streamer I actually watch, and the nigga I'm sponsored to. Well, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. It's, it's like, I, I've said it before. My taste in streaming now is really, I feel like I'm such an asshole because I don't really enjoy too many other kinds of streams anymore. I just like a lot of people who are like more dynamic, so wild shit. Even if it is controversial, someone who I've been always watching for a while now is Ice Poseidon. That nigga is just, his streams are ridiculous and they make me cringe out sometimes. And the stuff that he does on there, sometimes I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? But I mean, it's content, dude. <laughs> it's fucking content. I mean, it's horrible, but it's like sometimes I can't take, I can't take my eyes away. It's like, it's so fucking ridiculous. Um, if I'm paying, I'm throwing in an offensive meme, but dude, there, there's no discrimination against that. We had PCB who said, not Bardock's tweet, you fool. My at is super bash bros, but um, I might as well show you my take on Black Panther memes since I am more right. I don't know what the fuck that means, dog, but okay, let's take a look here. Okay, I don't know what the, I, I, well, I don't, I don't get it. I mean, it's cool. I didn't, I, I, there's a, there's a moment in the fucking, uh, is this, this is that, um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure shit, right? Well, okay. I mean, am I playing Harlem Shake right now? What the fuck is... You see, this is why I need to keep track of the music, man. So I don't wind up playing some... What was that from? Like, 2010, my nigga? Um, Etika Chain, chain Streaming. Uh, I don't know what you mean, man. But yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's a cool picture, man. I like it. It's a good meme. It's a good meme, man. What's the second one that you sent me? What's the second one that you sent me, bro? I don't know if it's not even gonna open. That shit was fucking glitching out on me. Um, what is your favorite mixed drink? If you ever do mixed drinks, I personally like Moscow Mules. Moscow Mules. Um, I really don't do mix too much, but I kind of go for the standard shit. You know, I don't really have too um, developed of a taste. So Long Island iced tea, Roy Rogers, Shirley Temple. You know, it's kind of the same. I like Shirley Temples, man. It looks cool and it tastes good, and it got cherries in it, so I have a little snack. To eat after I finish the drink. It's, it, it, it's just it's just cool in my opinion that you get some. Hell on a second. Did I just see zero sponsored? Is is that my zero my zero? Or is it just some random nigga? Which zero is it mine? That's not my zero. I gotta see him in the chat before I fucking um before I call him out, bro. That nigga's been doing his thing streaming, bro. I'm happy for you, man. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Zero, I'm not trying to be offensive, but there were so many articles talking about how little Smash Brothers players made and how wrong it was because we dominate so much of viewership when it comes to like tournaments and stuff. But we make so the, the Smashers make so little. So it's like, I can imagine this nigga Zero is making way more money. <laughs> I'm zero. I'm playing, bro. I'm being an asshole. But there were so many. Did you guys see those articles? They were like, motherfucking Smash players don't be making jack shit. It shocked the fuck out of me because these niggas be flying everywhere and traveling. I'm like, yo, these niggas must be stacking. And then I remember I talked to a tournament organizer. And he was like, bro, I'm in the negative. I'm like, what? You're in the negs? How, how? Niggas be making money off the fucking. Bro, this is crazy. I could, zero said do not. Oh, that's really zero. First and second off. The, uh, it, it killed me. I was like, wait. I remember this happened like in 2016. I found out. And it's like a kind of like a taboo because you don't want to bring up the fucking money shit. I'm only reason I'm talking about this openly because you know we're in a sponsor stream. You know this is kind of private. But the shit blew my mind because I'm sitting here thinking, yo, everybody's eating. And I remember one article. I don't remember exactly. I don't even remember if it was an article, if it was from Zero's mouth or something, but I remember having this connection in my head where it was like Zero is making money in the Smash scene, you know, doing tournaments and shit, and he's getting by. And he's number one! <laughs> he's number fucking one! How is he just getting by? Meanwhile, you got League of Legends niggas making checks for them and their future generations coming up a million a year, my boy. But motherfucking top, and we're not talking about top league players even in that sense. They got schools for this shit. Niggas be banking, and yet the best player in the world is getting by. <laughs> like, what is. What the fuck is going on in Smash, bro? Is it really. No, it's, Anyways, I, I don't, it's not all about money, man. You know, I don't want you niggas having the perception of, oh, you fucking greedy bastard. I knew it was about the shekels. No. The thing is, you wouldn't be putting yourself in a position like, if you if it was really all about the money, then why the fuck would he limit himself to playing a game like that? Why the fuck would you stay in a profession where the money ain't fucking going? Like, you, you gotta do something you're passionate about first, and then the money comes out. Money's the side effect, not the fucking focus. But it's also a necessity in order to keep yourself alive. But I mean, hey, I I'm not here to fucking explain um, the difference between a 15-year-old mentality and a 25-year-old mentality, all right? All I'm saying is, I'm happy for you. <laughs> 
I just I just went off on a fucking tangent. A big ass one. Let's change it up, man. Let's make it something more uh happy go lucky. Huh? Zero, I'm glad to see you in here, nigga. Hope everything's been good with you, bro. I, dude, I'm I'm the worst friend. <laughs> I haven't done a fucking dude, Zero and I were supposed to do so many things over the years, and this shit never happened. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> it's not. Well, well, no, you you hold a little bit of the blame too. Remember, you were supposed to come to my house that one time, or was it my fault? I don't remember whose fault it was, man. But goddamn, <laughs> this shit never worked out. But hopefully, with this game, we'll be able to get a little something going. Although I suck at collabs, I don't know what to do. Alvarad is still staring at me like, nigga, when are we doing a collab? I'm like, I don't fucking know, Alfred. I suck at collabs. <sighs> Anyways, and across. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga zero um and cross saying no discrimination here well if you say so all right i'm, I'm guessing this is probably going to be some fucked up shit <sighs> this is my friends a video that nas himself made back in the day don't remember where it was featured but this encapsulates what his prediction of the rap industry would be in the future so i guess maybe he's thinking of our future right now let's see how accurate he was in his um, hypothesis on where the rap game would be now. The song is called Eat That Watermelon. A hotty there, Shook. Top of the morning to you, Jab. Boy, you know this show is a good ditty right here. Massa gonna love us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hungry, what should we eat? <laughs> Some of that good old watermelon. Oh, yeah. Eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon. Show is good. Eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon, eat that watermelon. Eat that watermelon. Show is good. Show is good. Love this show video, bro. Hey there, sure. Yeah, Jack. I think it's time to break it on down. This watermelon ain't gonna eat it, chill. Ham bone, ham bone, ham bone, where you at? Ham bone, ham bone, ham bone, where you at? Massa, it's coming. Massa, it's coming. Massa, it's coming. Shh. Hide the watermelon. Hide the quick. <laughs> I fucking love this song, bro. Oh my god. I remember when I first saw this, I was like fucking 14 years old. And it killed me, man. Uh, eat that watermelon. <laughs> Master is coming. Master is coming. <laughs> Yo, it's the most racist shit. But it makes me laugh so much, man. Um, and across, you won some major points sending me that video. A fucking classic. Thank you. That, you know what? <laughs> Master. Not even Master. Massa is coming. My tryhard. Yes, yes. Tryhard in the chat, please. Oh, that, 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 that felt good to me. Why am I sweating so much? Dude, what the fuck? I'm wet right now, nigga. I'm moist. I just took a shower, so I don't stink. But I mean, let's not even go into that. Niggas will always be thinking I'm stinking. No, no, I smell good. I smell like Axe right now. You know that Phoenix, my boy? Yes, that's how I smell right now. If you want fucking, uh, if you want uh, to visualize what it would be like to be in my presence at the moment, your boy is, um... Your boy is ready to be taken, you know what I'm saying? Ready to take, you know? Mm. Um, your hair getting long, my guy? Yo, thanks, man. Yeah, it takes a while. For some reason, my hair growth genes fucking suck. So, this this whole thing, I haven't cut this bitch in a while. It's been like fucking seven years. This is all I get for seven years worth of work? Maybe I've trimmed it off a little bit every now and then. I'm feeling down today as well, too. Your streams always put a smile on my face. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Hopefully, you feel better later on, too. Um, I wish I could shower right now, but niggas are so broke, they stole my $3 shampoo and body wash. Really? They could just easily go to a fucking, like, hotel or a bathroom and, you know, like, I used to know niggas that would go to, like, McDonald's and you know how they have the push soap? They would fill up a little Ziploc bag of the shit and take it home and use that. That's how fucking struggle mode some of the people were that I was growing up with, bro. Shit was ridiculous. And the parents were promoted. They'd be like, did you get some of that? And Mickey D sold me a, yeah, mom. <laughs> that shit is crazy. High top looking like 2014. Eh, I guess. I guess so. I think it looks a little better. My barber used to fuck my shit up. Uh, well, I didn't have a barber. <laughs> I didn't fucking have a barber, man. I uh, wish I could... Uh, hold on a second. Let me, let me go to Twitter real quick and open up some shit. Yeah, man. I didn't really have much planned today. You know, sponsor streams, they're really more about interaction, just talking with niggas. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
I, I do feel a lot better though in terms of you know just having fun and shit. Etika, I'm gonna be coming to New York this summer with some of my niggas. I'm trying to meet your huge black skyscraper skyscraper ass. Yeah, yo, dude, by all means, man. Like, Freshie, I fuck with you. It's been a long time, dogs. Definitely come through. I'll show you some love out here. You ain't no fucking random nigga. Uh, yeah, I'll show love. I'm about to meet up with um with some nigga. Some nigga hit me up on Twitter and was like, yo, I'm coming to New York. I think a nigga named Lil Chu. Yeah, Lil, that nigga Lil Chu was like, yo, I'm coming. And I was like, fuck it. Nigga, by all means. Hopefully by then I have my house so I can, you know, give you a place to be buried in a coffin. Um, stay away. Those hoes are crazy. Yeah, man, I ain't trying to get mixed up into some fucked up shit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to wind up like, I ain't trying to wind up like some Sam Pepper. <laughs> That's fucked up. I ain't trying to get toe buskist out here. All right. <laughs> there was a low blows. I'm sorry. Hey, listen, they both follow me on Twitter. You know, I'm joking, guys. Um, what games are you looking forward to on the Switch besides Smash Brothers? Hard to say. I don't really feel like thinking about it right now, to be honest. That takes a lot of effort. And plus, it'll be boring because I got to sit here and do so. But, you know, I mean, I, oh, yeah. Oh, wait a minute. No, the SNK game where it's got, oh, my God. Yo, that SNK game looks fucking crazy, nigga. Have you seen the fucking stuff with that shit? There's a customization mode. First off, do you see what baby girl is wearing just in the fucking preview image and dude don't don't make me like gal gun 2 is definitely going to be done like i would have done it earlier it's just you know dealing with a lot of shit but this fucking game looks ridiculous man can i yo I'm, how thick is that how thick is that and there's more pictures nigga hold on a second bro nintendo knows damn well what the fuck they're doing look at these pics my boy Hold on, these are all like girls from um, the SNK series, um, the King of Fighters shit. So the the Orochi, uh, the Orochi arc and all that. That's the one I'm most familiar with. You had like the fucking disciples of Orochi. Like this is one of them, and like they get really dark skin and they start to fucking like try to make this nigga get resurrected. It was crazy. Um, but yeah, they, they, this game does look good. I'm looking forward to it. I mean, a good fighter is something that's the Switch kind of lacks right now. So that's why I'm also excited about that Blaze Blue game. But we also could do with more girls on the Switch. I mean, that, that, that's, that's a given, of course, you know? The, the, wa the waifu stuff is natural. But yeah, we, we need a fighter. And this one looks like it's unique. So, um, Evan, Evan Knight, Evan, Evan Knight saying, before you say anything else, it's pronounced Evan Knight. Okay, so I did get it right. Like Dragon Knight, but with an Evan instead. React to this. It'll cheer you up. Okay, well, let's see what the fuck you got for me, Evan. Revan Evan. Going Why is Etika so popular? I watched this video. I like the video a lot. I feel like there's definitely some inaccuracies with it, though. Like, it states that my first big boom was from Smash Brothers. And I mean, if you were here for a long time, then no, it wasn't Smash, my nigga. That gave me my first wave. It was Attack on Titan, okay? Re that was where I started reacting to shit. But this video, I mean, it's it's accurate for the most part. But it's just, you know, it gets... If I, I nitpick at some of the details because I'm the one watching it, you know what I'm saying? But this shit was good, man. And of course, it made me feel, damn, this got a lot of fucking views. Nigga, damn, I didn't even like the video and it got a lot of views. That's kind of impressive, man. Um, Good shit. You're about to be the gamer from Mars or some shit out here. Um, Mia, yeah. Thank you. For, Miami, yeah. Thank you for the sponsor. I appreciate that. Um, New Attack on Titan this summer. I don't give a fuck about Attack on Titan anymore. That's the thing, man. They, they blue balled me for far too long. Now I don't give a fuck about him. I mean, it, it, it's like you can't get away with fucking making people wait so long for seasons, man. It, it just, I've already been spoiled to so much of the shit by now, man. Keeping up with the anime was one of the worst decisions ever. And even if I watched the fucking, even if I read the manga, I would still get a watered down experience. So it's whatever to me. It doesn't really matter. Attack on Titan can suck my nuts. I don't think I'll be excited for that series anymore. Um, Erica, watch High School, uh, the High School DXD. I don't know what the fuck that is, man. Is that like a... Is that High School of the Dead or something? I remember High School of the Dead was a really good anime. I don't, did he ever get a second season? And analysis videos. When are you going to X-Rank on Splatoon? I'm not really in the mood for Splatoon right now, man. I haven't really played. I was excited to, like, maybe a month ago, but I, I just haven't felt it recently. Weren't you hyped for the second season that came out? What the fuck happened? I don't fucking know, nigga. I lost interest. <laughs> it just happened naturally. Um, Some things, that, y you know, that's how it is in general, man. Not even just my personal experience. There's things that you just fall out of love with all the time. And I, I just fucking fell out of love with Attack on Titan, man. Like, that shit just... Ugh. Um, nigga that made High School of the Dead is dead. Oh, my... What? Whoa! Whoa! He is dead. High school, of the dead creator has died. When did this? Ha a year ago. Writer and fame. Wait, and has passed away due to X-Men heart disease on March twenty-second. He was fifty-two. His media family held a funeral, and his younger sister was the chief mourner. His works include High School of the Dead, 
And um, Pyramid Gardens on in high school. The dad's been extended hiatus since March 2011, although a new chapter debuted in 13. Wow. That's too bad, man. Is that kind of like a indicator for the series never really getting too much follow-up? That's so fucked up. Um, any anime you're fucking with right now, I haven't had the time to watch any anime. My anime game is fucking weak. I haven't watched anime in like five years. <laughs> it's hard to keep up. Um, here's a dumb meme from Hammerheart. What's going on, bro? Thank you once again. And across, thank you. Um, I'm Salt as well. He's wait, wait, hold on. I gotta I gotta see the video he sent me. Uh real I'm salt. What the fuck is this, nigga? You done with your video? Yeah, I'm done. Come on. Say it was gay. All right, all right, get it, get it out, get it out. Bruh. <laughs> Is that reversal? He grabbed both these niggas. He, he, he got a, he got a whole handful of cheek. Right now, tell me that you died. Tell me that you fucking died, huh? Tell me that you fucking died. Huh? Why are they, they watching my shit? No, I thought it was reversal. You're white. Who the fuck thinks I'm white? Those people who think I'm Andy Malinalkis. Alright, that's enough. Okay. What was that? No, oh, it looked like him at first. That looked like a fucking, um, I felt like a Middle Eastern reversal. <laughs> By the way, I saw that bullshit that nigga did to me on Twitter, man. Fuck, what, what is this thing even called? Why do niggas do... Like, I remember people doing it back in school. But here in New York, the rules were a little bit different. If you looked at somebody doing this and it was, like, below the waist, then you had to get punched... Oh, fuck. You had to get punched in the arm. So it made it have, like, a fucked up twist, you know? That's why, like, there'd be niggas who would do it, and you just stand there, you're like, I'm not looking, bro. <laughs> and they're like, no, dude, look, I gotta, there's something on the floor here, I gotta show you. And you're like, no! <laughs> I ain't trying to catch no blows, nigga. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, I, I, I hit niggas with the fucking, uh, with the oof, bro. Yeah, man, like, everybody, I don't know how many people out there played the game the way it really was, man. But you were supposed to get punched, my boy. <laughs> like, what the fuck was that shit? I knocked my light over, man, so that's why you heard my fucking ear rape just now. Ooh, I said rape. <laughs> um, uh, it's okay, man, the hand symbol's actually for white power. <laughs> yeah, actually, <laughs> that, yeah, it is white power. How, now, how could I forget? Or you get your neck burned. Oh, nigga. Oh, New York dudes used to be so grimy with it. They be doing the open neck shit. And they be they be taking your shit and... Zah! <laughs> your shit be hot. The skin melts. You be like... Ah! <laughs> open neck. Oh, my God. Why do New York niggas make the most brutal games, man? <laughs> Dude, why? I think it's just urban niggas in general, bro. We ain't got nothing better to do over here but just find ways to torture niggas without them having any sort of retaliation to do so because you got caught in some stupid fucking game. <sighs> Open neck, bro. Oh, niggas used to be slapping the shit. He's like, ah! <laughs> Such a classic, man. Um, who's Papa Dog Sucker? Some fuckboy ass nigga. I once slapped a boy when I was in middle school with my pizza because he was trying to grab it off me at lunch. Like, nigga, let me eat my food in peace, bro. If you, if you grew up in the city and you were in a... That's why even... Like, here's the thing, guys. My plan, when I have a child in the future, children, I hopefully will be able to provide a nice neighborhood with a large home. That way they, you know, grow up in a... You know, they, they just grow up free and able to, you know, do their own thing and stuff, privacy and whatnot. I think that's all very integral to raising children. But... I'm going to at least for, I don't know, maybe for a long time, maybe for a little bit of time, I'm going to send them to a ratchet ass school because they, they, they need a little bit of street in them, I feel. That's a fucking massive criteria. It's important to know how to handle yourself in urban situations. So we live in a nice neighborhood, live in a nice house, send them to a fucking school that send them, there used to be a school, school called Ditmas around here. And Ditmas, man, used to have some rough sock em, bop em niggas over there. Shell Bank, that was a rough ass school. Bro, I, dogs, my mom pulled me out of Shell Bank. And I used to get, I used to fight so many niggas back then, bro. What the, was that sixth grade? That was sixth grade, I think. Yeah, I was only there for one year. And it was the year that 
I, I, well, all my friends who were in my public school, they all went with me because, you know, it's kind of like zones. So since we all live in the same area, we all wound up going to the same school. And man, I used to get in so much trouble with niggas, bro. I'd be fighting like every week over there. It was ridiculous. I used to be getting mixed into it, bro. I was getting jumped out the school. <laughs> the shit was crazy. I used to be kind of wild with the shit, man. But I would talk crazy too. You know, I, I would kind of mess around a little bit too much. I would make jokes. And you see how I'm, I'm kind of a clown nigga right now? It used to be kind of pushed to an extreme back in the day. So I would kind of warrant some of these ass whoopings. But, you know, then we retaliate and we, we whip these niggas' asses, bro. It, it was crazy. I used to have a dude named Jabari that used to roll with me, bro. And this dude was such a slugger. Oh, my God. And there's a dude named Chad. Oh, Chad was the leader of the bunch. And that nigga Chad, he was a fucking hero. I used to follow Chad to the end of the world. <laughs> and Chad was like, yo, you my general, bro. <laughs> like, yes, nigga. <laughs> Oh man, Shellbank, Shellbank. What a oh it, it, my nigga Lil Mew too. He used to be oh my god, man. So many memories when I think back to junior high school, dogs. Was Chad White? No, 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 no. He was black. What's the craziest fight you've ever been in? Um, from Luke Bomber. Oh man, there used to be this dude called Jerry Butler, and this was back in the fourth grade. I mean, yeah, that, that was like one of. I mean. It was a lot of lead up to that fight. There was a lot of shit talk going back and forth. And in those days, being called gay was like the ultimate insult. So I wasn't having that shit. And the dude, oh, this nigga's gay, bro. This nigga's a faggot, bro. And you know, that's how niggas would always talk back. And so it was like, okay, well, I'm, I'm going to fuck this nigga up. So I, I, I'm, I was really compulsive at that point. You know, like, like he was getting under my skin. He was talking a lot of shit. And I didn't say anything to him or anything about him, but he just had like a chip on his shoulder about me or whatever. So at one point, the lunchroom was downstairs. So if you were in the schoolyard, you had to walk down like this long flight of stairs to get to the lunchroom. So at one point, while we were all walking down, this dude, Jerry, was just talking shit in the fucking um, schoolyard. And I heard him and he was talking it to the girls. That's the thing that pissed me off the most. And he said it to this one girl called Ashley that I really like. She had nice ass hair and legs, bro. Her legs were fucking fine, bro. <laughs> and this is back and forth. <laughs> but, you know, back then, I didn't even know what the fuck. I, I was just looking at her. I think that's the first time I ever really started to, like, get attracted to girls, too. So it kind of made it even worse. That's why I was so angry back then. Because it was like, bro, I'm starting to get attracted to girls. And this nigga's talking shit about me to the girls. Now, now I got to do something. So he was walking with Ashley down the fucking steps. And so my crazy ass, I rolled up behind him. And, oh, my God. I swear. I think the spirit of fucking Andre the Giant got into me because I hit that nigga with such a powerful clothesline. I've not, like, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the funny movies or like, you know, the comedy skits where you see someone roll down the stairs like, whoa, like a cartoon or something. I hit him so hard with that clothesline. He did that shit in the fucking stairwell. The nigga rolled, and it, it, I mean, it, this, like, it was it was in the middle of the stairs, so he didn't roll too long. But he 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 caught some blows. He got fucked up. And so when I did that to him, the nigga he got what the fuck? Yo, you wanna do this right now? He came up the stairs, right? Took off his shirt and shit, and we just started boom. Just I was, bro, oh my god, dog, I just saw red, there was nothing left, man, I, dude, I don't even know, man, but all I remember by the end of that shit is that we were both bloody, and, and the teacher, what the fuck is, oh my god, oh my god, I'm, fuck this thing, I'm, 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 dude, you know them fights, there's no coordination, it's just, just, that's the shit that, oh my god, that shit was crazy, and yo, <laughs> They, of course, there was a crowd. Everyone now hearing the teacher yell, hearing us go at it, and the stairwell had nobody. Ashley was just, oh my god, this shit was crazy, and everybody rushed the stairs. And now the teacher can't even get us split up because all the other students are coming in watching, and they're all pushing us. In. <laughs> oh my god, it was the craziest fucking. That that was definitely one of the most insane fights I've ever had. Like it's not like, it's when I was younger too. It's not like really. I guess since it was young, you can't really consider that, like, you know, like, I didn't, I, I didn't, it's not when I was an adult, you know what I'm saying? But I just remember it being so intense, and I, and I specifically remember just seeing red, bro, I, I just fucking, you know, like, that's how it is sometimes, man. Some people, when they fight, they're, like, organized and they're concise, able to, like, plan their movements out and, like, you know, dodge and shit, and some people, they just fucking snap. I don't know how I would be nowadays, I haven't had a fight in a very long time, but back then, it was just blank, and then, <laughs> and then, 
wake up later. <laughs> Thugs. After that, me and Jerry were cool as fuck. <laughs> me and Jerry were cool as shit. We were like, yo, like eventually we just started talking, man. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll never forget that shit. I don't even think they called my mom. I don't think they called my mom. We were, we were, yo, I was bleeding, bro. He was bleeding, man. And it was just like, yo, you guys are gonna sit here and talk about this shit right now. And it was a black teacher that came to us, and he like really. He, he made us kind of counsel it out, bro. That was a cool dude, man. <laughs> Mom's never found out. <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, so that, that's the memory that I can think of. Crazy. So I had a couple of them, but I mean, yeah, that one was just like, damn. I legit can't remember any of the crazy fights from the first person. It's crazy. Dog, yeah, I know. Like, I, I realize, like, that's how it is. Because it's, it's thanks to the fight or flight thing. Where it's like the survival thing is turned on. And some people... They they just they just blank out when that happens, man. I I, I blanked out. <laughs> it, it just well, uh, but niggas niggas were like from that day on, bro. They used they, they used to have this chant. They used to have this fucking chant, bro. And oh my god, I cannot forget because like because Jerry was kind of like the, the the Gary Oak of the shit, and I was like the Ash Ketchum. And after we fought, man, and everyone witnessed that shit, and it was so intense, shirt off and all that shit. Everyone used to, like, when whenever me and Jerry came around, bro, they'd be like, what's my name? Jerry Butler. Oh, man, this is such a classic, man. Like, what's my name? Jerry Butler. <laughs> and then when I came around, when, and, I, I, they used to say something to me, too. I don't know why I can remember Jerry's, but I can't remember what they said to me. What was that chant they said? It, it, the shit was bad. I, I always Jerry Butler just, just it just rolls off Jerry Butler like it just rolls off the tongue. But mine it was like more forced, so it didn't really stick as much. But they used to be like, yo, there goes uh, there goes uh, because because you know my they used to call me like my name my name is Desmond Daniel Amofa, but I I just went by Daniel when I was younger. So they used to, I can't remember if I can remember I'll I'll tell you guys. But right now I'm drawing a blank classic moments man that, that stuff that like that stuff you can't make up dogs it, it literally just came together and i never and i never i never got with ashley either she was so fucking scared of both of us after that shit i guess it was very visceral because she saw like the savagery in person well i guess you know as a young child you would be scared too be like, these motherfuckers are crazy so nobody got the girl <laughs> no one got the girl jerry if this nigga jerry brother ever sees this shit bro <laughs> Yo, we gotta catch up. There's another nigga named Carl. I don't remember his last name, but Carl from PS139, bro. That nigga. Oh, I shouldn't probably say the school, but man, there was some good rivals I've had in the past. <laughs> the memories. Oh my god, I got jumped in the front of the library at PS139 by this nigga's goons, bro. They were beating the shit out of me. It was so crazy. Um, Nerf the Sin, man. Welcome to the fucking... Wait, hold on a second. Nah, that's Nerf. He says, what's going on, boy? Um, got blessed by my tax return. So I'm gonna bless you. Hold on. That's God's plan right there. Thank you, man. He says, on God. <laughs> Wait, oh, I didn't even see that part. Yeah. Hive mind. Um, I'm gonna have to meet you one day and get fucked up. And also, when you're gonna stream on that Plex Storm? I had to bless the boys on there when Kitty Quinn was streaming. I hope your day is getting better. Listen, I saw her performance for me. Her her tribute to me and i appreciated the fuck out of that you know what i'm saying boy uh it was real real cool she's a really nice girl on top of it all man and i'm not just saying that to um give her props on her lady bits or whatever like she's really fucking cool i had a huge dm conversation with her and we were discussing philosophies and attitudes towards streaming and we really fucking vibed man like Definitely a cool chick. No wonder why she's popular, man. All you niggas out there that say, oh, all you gotta do is show your titties and you get popular. How many girls can we go and look at right now on YouTube Gaming, Plex Storm, and Twitch that show cleavage and they don't get fucking impact like that? Guess what? It's not about the fucking cleavage, bro. It's about the personality behind it. You know, if there's a girl or a guy or whatever in between that actually you know has on-screen presence that's engaging that niggas like to fucking watch then they'll watch and if they don't then they won't watch you know it, it, it takes both it, it's not all of one you know what i'm saying that, that's why i can never agree with the whole titty streamers ruin things like I, I to me i'm not even trying to be a social justice warrior it's just lame corny dry ass niggas who don't have any fucking on-screen personality or impact or engagement bitching because they don't and, and they're mad at niggas that do you know they, 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 they say the same shit about niggas too you know what i'm saying like it, it, so it, it's to me it's stupid very stupid argument go on twitch nigga it's full of ethos <laughs> 
<laughs> the way that came out, <laughs> E-Thoughts. Um, Plex Storm Test Stream. Exactly. They're jealous. Yeah, it's just cornball niggas. Um, niggas don't get pussy, so they feel insecure about bad bitches. <laughs> <laughs> but they, they got a new word for them. What do they call? Dude, I learned this word. My hair looks crazy because I didn't even fucking. I just straightened it and fucking went all out. But, um, because I usually I take the fucking blow dryer and that makes it straight. So I. The motherfucker just. Whoop. That's how they did it back in the day with the high top, man. Get maximum length. Um, let me see here. There's a new word that I learned, bro. I'm not sure if this is an old word or not, but it's called incel. And when was this added to Urban Dictionary? Maybe this is something recent. August 8, 27. Okay, it's not recent, but I mean, an incel, involuntary celibate. That's a person who doesn't have sex, but involuntarily, <laughs> where a horrible personality treats women like sexual objects and thinks his lack of a sex life comes from being ugly. I mean, I feel like this definition is kind of like a little bit loose. It doesn't mean exactly that, but it's just a funny ass word, in my opinion. Incel? <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is that? I saw it on 4chan earlier today when I was lurking. Um, incel is an old word. Yeah, I don't know how I just found out about it, man. It's crazy. Every Etika fan is an incel. Damn, I'm an incel. <laughs> incel. It doesn't. It doesn't even sound like a derogatory word at first. And then when you read the definition, it's like, oh my god, this is horrible. I mean, it, it sounded. I thought it was some sort of scientific shit, and it turns out this is a really, really fucked up way to like diss a dude. Bro, a, gr a gross personality is the biggest turnoff. I'll take a decent girl who's cool as hell over a girl who's gorgeous and has a nasty personality any day. Mega, of course. By, by all fucking means. Now, I, th this can't be a fucking, a chick that's busted as fuck. She got, like, but, but I mean, as, as long as she takes some sort of pride in her appearance and, you know, looks decent, then... Personality will win it all, man. Have you? How many dudes? How many of you guys? Not even dudes. Ladies too. Been with someone who's attractive as fuck, but they just have a horrible personality. It just kills every sort of potential arousal you could have for them, man. It, it, it's ridiculous. I've been with attractive people who turn out to be fucking like fucked up, and it's like, yo, I can't, I can't fuck with it, man. I've had to drop some people just for that shit, man. So I know, I know the ladies out there know this shit I'm talking about too. You can find your wife at local Walmart. 99% chance the girl you want is walking around there already without makeup. Listen, this is the reason why my personal taste, man. I mean, if we're, if we're going to discuss it, bro, I just like minimalistic, like simplicity, you know, like, of course I, I, I like any, like a girl is a girl. I, 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 I like, I love girls. So I mean, anything is is appealing to me but if it's preference we're talking about man then you know you she look good with motherfucking with just some random leggings on um some flip flops on and a damn t-shirt bro that that the seven four uh, same color t-shirt and the nigga that, that does it for me man so i mean the min minimalism bro that's why my channel and all that shit everything's kind of kept a little bit basic you know you don't see me on here with some fucking cartoon avatar and shit not to say that anybody who does that is lame or wrong or whatever you know i mean to each their own but to me it, it, there's already a lot going on <laughs> when you come to the streams with all the fucked up shit we do and the videos kind of got a lot of uh twisted nature to them as well so i mean i feel like that's enough like i'm not gonna have etika <laughs> i'm some markiplier shit i'm some fucking an anime avatar that looks a trillion times better than what i look like in real life on the channel banner you know what i'm saying i can't do that bro not my not my way but you know props to anyone who does it because some of that art would be looking good better than the niggas that <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't lie, bro. It's so funny to me. It's, it's just something that I just noticed, man. Like everyone just defaults to the fucking cartoon avatars. Erica likes girls, pedo ass nigga. Get some woman. Oh shit, you're right. Oh no. Um, shots at Mark. Man, I ain't taking no shots, you know. I'm just saying, bro. You know, these cartoons. If you're going to have an avatar made of you, at least make it look accurate. I can count on one hand how many niggas I've seen do this and it, like, still look like them. I've, I've seen some <laughs> they make that shit. Dudes make that shit light skin, give it a sharp ass chin, chiseled nose, high cheekbones, long wavy hair, and it's like, this is me. <laughs> no, that's not you. Stop playing games with me. My avatar's completely accurate. I don't know, though. Is that my little pony? Is that Arthur Avatar? Every day when you're walking down the street. <laughs> like, Alpha Rad. No, no, Alpha Rad's isn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? Like, Alpha Rad, he, he, his actually looks somewhat close to his own person. But, I mean, should I, should I fucking look up someone who... <laughs> nah, I'm not gonna do that. I ain't gonna expose no niggas, but it, it's just something I, I, I noticed that made me laugh, man. 
Um, if you haven't listened to Playboy Cardi, bro, you know I live in New York, right? That nigga ran summer 2017. Like, of course I've listened to Cardi. Um, would you ever work with Achievement Hunter again? Um, I mean, yeah, I would. They're cool. Like, I'm cool with all of them, but they just wanted me to do something that I wasn't really... I, I mean, you know, they, they had different plans. You know, things are different now. Yeah, I would definitely work with them again. But, you know, at that moment, they like I think they were trying to, like, approach me with a, with an offer, and I just wasn't really with it. Um, I got also approached by Ubisoft recently, and I just wasn't with that either. You know, I mean, it's... Not, it's like it's different though with the Chima because they're they're actually good friends. Like you know, Michael I fucking love Michael. Jeff Ramsey love Jeff. Bro, my, 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 <laughs> oh man, Lil J man, Lil J though that nigga's so funny. But, but yeah, I'm, I'm cool with all of them. But it's just with, with with Ubisoft, you know, it's just deals. Like listen, man, one thing I gotta really say is not to not to take things prematurely or sign up for shit too early. You know what I'm saying? Like it's sometimes you're better off just waiting. And holding on and biding your time um you, you might make up better and there was also another company that hit me up too it was some fucking um japanese company man some fucking some, some like food company bro it's a little weird bro i don't know i can't really talk about shit unless i'm really feeling it <laughs> Zanza or unless i'm uh unless i'm at least you know I, I, it's hard it, it's very very hard for me to get my dick hard at an offer from a company because they're so used to giving out horrible offers and plus a lot of the companies that hit me up, I'm not even really interested in myself. So, just bide your time. Don't do something unless you really feel it. You know what I'm saying? Um, Nissan Ramen sign now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that actually was them. Um, I remember when they said they were part of the Creatures. I meant to say Had To by Cardi. It's a nice song. Saw the instrumental to Number Nine playing. Oh, oh yeah, Number Nine is one of them songs. That's a jam right there. I didn't. I don't think I heard Had To yet. Um, I watched Cow Chop's 420 video when I was high as fuck. I haven't watched Cow Chop yet, or um, Funhouse, but I heard a lot of good things about him. Mega Stones, welcome back, my boy. Nice to see your ass in here. Um, you heard that J. Cole album? Wasn't, wasn't, nah, nah, I didn't hear it. Wasn't J. Cole the nigga that stole shit from fucking Shizzy, bro? Fuck that nigga. Unless that wasn't that nigga. Um, Aurora, you better remember all that shit. Uh, what are you talking about? Um, was it J. Cole? No, 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 no. It was, uh, it was a different nigga. It wasn't J. Cole that stole shizzy shit. That was, um, Tory Lane. Yeah, Tory Lanez. There we go. What the fuck is this? Good. Now, fucking finish Xenoblade 2 so you actually have another game to put under your belt that isn't fucking Doki Doki Club and Undertale. Where where did this image come from, my dude? I'm, I, I feel like this might be a porno. <laughs> the, is this, you remember that fucking the porno that the dudes, he, like, this is porno out there where this is dude, the big black dude, and he's with this chick, and he, he he's about to bust right and so the dude starts screaming he's like ah! Ah! <laughs> it's an old video but oh my god is it a classic i gotta see if i can find that fucking scream that he made black <laughs> not black panther black dude porn scream this has to be it cat black guy scream okay is this it <laughs> what the fuck? No, I gotta hear it from the beginning. The build up. The build up is the part that makes it like more ridiculous. Okay, is this it? <laughs> that was good. Okay, all right, that, that one gets props, man. Hold on, this shit gotta be somewhere. I need to see it here from the beginning. Bro, it's... Okay, this is... Bro, okay, so I'm, I'm done looking for it, but I mean, the shit goes on. He, he's like, ah! Ah! <laughs> like, what the fuck happened, bro? A little bit too many steroids before the shoot, nigga. Man, I can enjoy his games, damn. Search, um, Super Saiyan. <laughs> Hold on, did you guys see that fucking shit with uh, Fuse Amasu for the um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z reveal, bro? That was one of the most insane trailers, but also one of the most weird ones, too. They had these niggas spinning around in harmony on some fucking uh, music video shit. <laughs> no, I, I, I got, if you haven't seen it, man, we got, I got to look that shit up. Um, Fighter Z? Fighters? Nah, maybe it's... Oh, Bandai Namco. I got, I got to see that shit again. This is so funny to me. Just that one scene alone. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> 
such a classic moment, bro. Did this shit even happen in fucking fight? Um, Super? I didn't really watch Super um through this arc as much, so I kind of gotta go back. But I mean, I saw the final fight. Why are they looking at each other like that, bro? There's this one I saw where it's like when you and your homie get out of pools. <laughs> you see the nigga spinning. It's so funny. Yeah, that happened in Super. They had the, the close-up of their face where it was like... <laughs> the niggas... Just... <laughs> what is this, bro? All right. It starts with them doing that shit. It's like they're touching dicks or something, bro. <laughs> what is this? <sighs> Zavasu. Ningen. <laughs> All right. Um, repent for your sins, Ningen. Yes, I know, I know. They hugged and shit in the anime, bro. They did? They really did? The Patara has their body slammed. Yeah, but it did. Like, it, it's supposed to be like this, right? This one, they literally spin it. <laughs> like, I guess they had to add extra effect to the shit, you know what I'm saying? When I first heard that scream, I thought the dude was taking the most painful shit in human history. Nah, this is the most painful nut. Um, Etika, did you hear about the possible Sonic Mania Plus leaks? Not sure what you're talking about with the leaks. I did hear about that switch hacking, though. Someone brought it up earlier. Dogs, the fact that it can be done with the paper clip or something and that it can never be patched. This is a little bit much, man. Now, you know I'm all for the hacking scene, but god damn, the thing that the, the, hacking is always about a balance. And for there to be an instantaneous way to hack something like the switch this early in its lifetime without there being a patch at all, piracy isn't what kills consoles it's super easy piracy i feel i mean well, that, well you know i mean this is this is prototype thinking right here you know like I'll, I'll i'll chisel my thoughts out and have them more streamlined later but the difficulty of the piracy is an indicator of how damaging it'll be to the fucking console i feel like you know to, to hack the PS4 and the Xbox One, damn near impossible, man. I mean, but it's still possible if you really wanted to. There's companies that do the shit for you. Um, you could you could hack the 3DS way before you could, like, you know, way before the end of its lifespan, lifespan right? I, I, I'm just trying to get my thoughts together. You could hack the 3DS way before it got to the end of its lifespan where it could just open up to everybody. But it wasn't that easy to do, the difficulty. And I feel like that kind of makes a difference in terms of how, how it'll affect the way that these third-party devs do the shit you know what i'm saying if you needed a fucking 1.0 switch to be able to have hacks available and something that's niche level not everyone's gonna have two fucking switches people ain't gonna buy another switch just to hack shit it would be hard to access you know what i'm saying but if this shit winds up being some pandora battery play psp type shit where it's just like straight up easy mode i just press a button and the switch is hacked piracy and easy like that and everyone around the world can do it with no effort whatsoever I don't think that's a good move, man. Like, it, to me, that's going to obviously add a lot of controversy to putting games on that bitch. Especially if it can't be patched. I don't know. That seems like a little bit much for me, man. It's uh, yeah, the, PSP, yeah, the PSP was easy as dick to hack, and it didn't kill it. Well, yeah, it, obviously. I mean, I know that argument, man. But the, the, the thing that's different is that the, it's so early. And the PSP hack wasn't as easy to do in the very beginning of the lifespan. Like, it took a little bit of time. I mean, and, you know, it's still one of the most popular handhelds ever. So, I, I, you're right. It's just it's just a little bit of concern. You can't say for 100% that it's going to ruin the console or whatever. I mean, the 3DS is super fucking successful. It's what's kept Nintendo alive all these years. And it's one of the most hacked consoles of all time. So... Yeah, it, it's just a little shocking at first to see, holy fuck, can this really lead into something major? But you're right, I should calm down. Maybe it's not all doom and gloom at the moment, but it's just a little bit crazy for me to see. I remember the 3DS can be unbricked with just a magnet. <laughs> fucking shit, really? I, I remember like a hard switch on the fucking motherboard or something. It might cause it to overheat and catch. For my boy Nintendo Labo is a new wave, man. A straight change in the game. I fucked the shit out of that car. You made out of cardboard, bitch? Nice, man. Yeah. Ladies out there, y'all make cardboard niggas? I think, which would be more... Which would be more painful? To fuck a cardboard pussy or to get fucked by a cardboard penis? Um... There was, a, there was another scene where the dude was about to nut and nuts the cameraman in the face. Yeah, I saw that one, man. I think I saw that on Motherless, bro. That, that shit was fucking crazy. How the fuck the nigga shoot nut on the cameraman? 
He didn't sign up for that. He doesn't deserve that, nigga. Google Zamasu hug. Okay, let me let me look that shit up. Zamasu hug. Oh my god, this is actually a thing. Them niggas fucking hugged, bro. Oh well, I mean, I, I get that makes sense though. I mean, why wouldn't they? They're the same person, technically speaking, right? But damn, <laughs> these niggas were close. I guess you would. I mean, if it was me, if it was my per own person, yeah, sure. But that's not my body, though. Etika, what's how long are we going, man? I gotta go to sleep soon. Yeah, we, I'll probably end soon. You know, I I feel a little bit better, man. I'm glad to be out. Oh, hold on, Nerf, man. Hold on, I, I did I read this nigga? Oh no, I read this nigga. Thank you, man. Um, I haven't heard motherless in years, bro. How about this one? E bombs world. You have, how long has it been since you heard of that shit? Um, the 3DS can be hacked with a magnet. The video can be hacked just by entering a site in the browser. Paperclip isn't that different. I know, right? It's so funny to me. When I remember when um it, when the fail overflow, whatever. I don't give a fuck what the name is, but whenever they when when they came out with the shit and they were like, oh, this is the new way to hack it. And you saw the little blue clip and then you saw the wire. It was like, is this like a troll thing? April Fools was weeks ago, bro. And then it turns out, no, that's actually the way you do it. What the fuck? crazy to me but all right man i'm about to head out of here guys it was cool chilling with y'all I, I need uh, i need a motherfucking ac it's getting hot in this bitch man so hopefully thoughts on earthbound 4 or mother 4 i don't give a fuck bro i want those i need virtual console in general but bro if they bring earthbound mother etc that's gonna be big i really enjoyed playing through the little bit of earthbound that i did on the 3ds on virtual console before i completely dropped the 3ds so i would like to continue it the game seems quirky i talked about it before it's like, it's like there's something deeper going on with it. I can see how that influenced Toby Fox. Edgar, before you go, please play one game of Fortnite. Papa Dog, I, I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to block you now. I'm just kidding. I mean, I, I've never played Fortnite. I mean, it looks interesting, kind of, but it's not really my speed, man. That's not a wave I'm going to be riding. We're here for you, Etika. Um, Thank you, man. Appreciate that, Masir Kun. Um, Wind Waker is already on the Switch. Really? You lying. Um, before you go, Google Super Saiyan Jalen. Jalen? Oh, you mean Jalen, um, Killer Charisma, right? Oh, man, this was, this was back when I was, like, fucking fit. Wait, no, no I was, I was, what am I talking about? I was 20-something, 20, 20, I think I was 21, 22, I don't know. But, yeah, man, Killer Charisma. Whatever happened to this dude? I gotta look him up. Killer Charisma. Super. Let me see. Where is he at? Is this channel still here? Wow, his channel's still here. Is this his channel? I gotta see. Maybe. Nah. What the fuck? Jalen the Super Saiyan is back. Damn, bro. It's like after he did the Joseph. What happened to Joseph on deck, man? That used to be my nigga. He stopped making music now, bro. I think I still follow him. Well, Joseph, Joseph, however you pronounce his name, bro. This used to be my nigga, bro. Motherfucking one. This is one of the no. This is in my opinion, the best, the best otaku rapper out there, bro. Like he shits on all these niggas that are doing the shit now. He was doing it way back, but damn. Uh, hopefully he's good, man. What's his Twitter looking like, bro? Damn, nigga ain't said shit since 2017. I'm still following him. Uh, hopefully everything's good with this dude. Was this Krayshawn right there? What the fuck? Um. We watching the Nintendo E3 conference from the Nintendo store in New York City. Um, I'll meet up at wherever if you show me the good party spots. Plus that party at my Airbnb too. Well, Fredo, I remember we were talking about the shit, right? Yo, listen to Lil B, I love you. Nah, I don't feel like it right now. I, you know, I'm not really good at sound requests. Um, night, nigga. Take your bitch ass to sleep. Can't stay for the real nigga hours. You sounding like a bitch. Ah, you talking about me or talking about a nigga in here? Um, Etika Phantom just told me Kimishima is retiring as Nintendo president really that's well who's gonna take the mantle after him who's the who's the board who's the head of the board the chairman right now at nintendo i ain't really keep up with all that information they're about to have like a financial briefing and shit too there's a rumor to be some kind of pokemon announcement i don't know oh my god he's re actually retiring what whoa kimishima is this what they revealed at the financial briefing Whoa! Did the Yakuza get to him? Did they put the pressure on? Kimishima! Why? Retiring as president of Nint- How old- Is he doing it because he's old? Wow, this just happened. Nigga, this just happened. 
Holy shit! New Nintendo president is Shantaro Furukawa. 46 years old? The nigga's a young boy. Young boy running Nintendo? And Pokemon? Wait, wait, no. Current board member for both Nintendo and Pokemon. Kimishima, 68 years old, is stepping down. Damn! This young, wet behind the ear, fresh boy. They're not even, man. Shuntaro Furu Furukawa? When was this news announced, bro? I got I gotta see a time. This is the new Nintendo president? What the fuck? He's young No, I uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like this. Some this has to be what's going on here? I don't know him, of course. I don't know his history or what kind of person he is or whatever, but I mean that's the new president of this fucking fan base? He's the one now in charge. I liked, I liked Kimishima. A fucking Yakuza boss as the head of Nintendo. How much better could it get? This dude, Lee, he doesn't look that, as intimidating as Kimishima does. How am I going to make jokes and memes off of him? He looked like a bitch. <laughs> he's young, first off. I was like, okay. But he's got to look like such a fucking reserved dude, too. Kimishima's presence was, hmm, I'm the boss, nigga. Like, it was like, whoa, okay, you got it. He looks like he's an underling. He's running the... How are you qualified to run Nintendo, Shuntaro? What is this? This is the nigga running my Nintendo? You're the leader now of this? I need information. I need to learn about this nigga. Who is this? Y'all niggas know this nigga? I don't know this nigga. I've never seen him around my hood before. Man, man. Nah, bro. We, we got, let's pull up them papers, bro. What's that? What, what's your fucking... Let's look at them credits, my nigga. What's your fucking reputation looking like? Shuntaro Furukawa. Okay, here we go. We got the information on Bloomberg, my boy. I'm about to find out. I'm about to put the pressure on this nigga. Oh, no. We ain't ending the stream now. He invaded Nintendo. Oh, and why he have so many Joy-Cons? You only need... <laughs> Background check, bro. I gotta, I, gotta, I gotta check this nigga out now. This is a gut check, bro. All right, so when was this information compiled here? I don't know, but let's read up. Um, managing executive officer, general manager of corporate plan. Okay, he's got some clout. He's big. April 26, 2018. Damn, nigga, this was just... Wow, this was just put... Oh, no, this is just the time that it is right now. What the fuck is wrong with me? Anyways, um, uh, corporate planning, supervisor of analysis and admin, uh, director, Nintendo, total calculated compensation. They're connected to one board member and one organization across one different industry. Okay, so... Okay, 45 years old. Shuntaro Furukawa has been managing executive officer and supervisor of corporate analysis and administration division at Nintendo since 2016. He's young! Fred Ock! Young boy! He, you trust him? Retro! Do you trust? Hold on a second. Retro! Do you trust this nigga? Tell me right now, man. I, I, I need to hear it from your mouth, bro. I don't know if I trust him. This is crazy. Why these niggas all look the same? I can't tell. They're, that's just fucking racist. He look, uh, he look like an otaku. I shouldn't be talking down about the guy. You know, it's just, this is a very sudden thing, man. Am I not allowed to feel a little bit of, you know, whiplash from this? I feel some whiplash. Retro, speak. You trust him? No, no, you know what? We need more information. We can't, we can't jump the gun just yet. Niggas gonna crack under the pressure. He look like he about to crack under the pressure, bro. 2016. He jumped into so what? What the nigga's an implant, bro? He came from another company, or oh, or maybe maybe something else. Let me keep reading. Shantaro has been general manager of corporate planning at Nintendo since twenty. Okay, so you know twenty fifteen. He joined Nintendo in May twenty twelve. Damn, nigga, in May twenty twelve, bro. I was doing Nintendo shit before this nigga was. <laughs> I'm joking around. Let's keep reading. He's been an outside director at the Pokemon Company since two thousand and twelve as well. And he's been a director of Nintendo. Okay, read full background, bro. He's been a director of Nintendo since 2016. All right, well, you know what? He must he must be good at his job to rise through the ranks so fucking fast. But damn, they didn't have somebody who had some more seniority in there to pass the fucking head of... Nin he's not just the head of Nintendo's region, like Europe or NA. He's the king now. Young nigga, the king? They're taking a risk on this dude. 
the the board must be really confident about his abilities that's kind of the same thing that they did with satoru iwata remember he became the president way early and he was one of the first members to be like outside of the family that normally gets past the position he wasn't related to the previous um um to the prior president before him i don't remember his name exactly i should but i don't remember what was this dude's name? Um, but he, that dude was a boss too. Like that nigga, he gave me a fucking, um, I think Kimishima was fucking with that nigga back in the day, bro. The niggas were bosses. Kimi started to switch well. Don't fuck up, bro. He, I, I don't know. Listen, Retro, you got it right, bro. Kimishima knew the recipe. We got a bunch of great titles under that nigga. And well, and, and Iwata too. Cause you know, a lot of the stuff was made with Iwata. But I mean, there was a, a big influx of waifu there, okay? Then again, maybe maybe this nigga would give us a ton of waifu. He he seems like the t <laughs> I'm so fucked up. I'm wrong. Let's keep let's continue reading about this nigga's history. Um, corporate headquarters. He's over there. Damn, his nigga got his phone number out. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no no, this is just the headquarters. The number for the headquarters, I guess. Board membership. Uh, 2016 present. Managing executive officer. Uh, supervisor analysis and blah blah. There's no education. Uh, okay, damn, bro. I don't, I still, I mean, okay, so he's qualified. I still don't know much about this nigga, though. I know, I know his history. I know his phone number. <laughs> no, that's, actually, that's not his phone. I think it's like J Nintendo Japan. Nigga look like a <laughs> Oh, my God. I Check his profile on IMDB. Does this nigga have an I Call him up and voice your concerns as a brand ambassador of Nintendo. I ain't even a brand ambassador. I'll call him up as a Joy-Con boy representative. I'll be like, sir. He has a GED. Damn. I need more info. Nigga got a face. Oh, he's on IMD. He's on IMDB. What the fuck? Oh, no. This isn't him. This is a different nigga. What the fuck? How am I going to make... Oh, I guess I might as well save his image now if I'm really going to make memes off of him. Damn. This is the new president. Okay. Young nigga. He look like an anime protagonist. This Yusuke looking ass nigga, bro. I can't, bro. Shuntaru. How am I... What are we gonna call him? What's his nickname gonna be? Shunny? Furu? F Furu? Taro? I guess we'll call him Taro. I don't know. This is so sudden. Reggie has power. Why didn't they promote Reggie to head? Just let Reggie run all of Nintendo, bro. At this point, he basically does, in our minds. He has a place in Persona. Cherry, <laughs> Cherry Boy. <laughs> Cherry Boy. <laughs> Cherry Boy. Oh my god, you really said that shit in the chat? This nigga says, you call him Cherry Boy, bro. <laughs> wow. Oh man, that's cool. That, that that's good. <laughs> Sakura boy, bro, does does he look? He let my boy Christian from junior high, bro. Um, nigga look like too. He let their kid. <laughs> no, okay, we gotta stop. I'm not about to talk shit about him. He's the he's the head of this whole fandom now. You know what? All jokes aside, entertainment and stuff aside, you know. Shantaro, I look forward to what you have to contribute to Nintendo as the new president. <sighs> Does he have a Twitter? Can I follow this nigga? Wow, man. Somebody hit this nigga. Let me hit this nigga Twitter up, bro. Let me let me see what's going on with my fucking mentions, man. He does look like an otaku, like someone that hangs around Super. <laughs> These comments are fucking ridiculous. Nah, that. Oh shit, D1 even commented on it. Kimi is retiring as president. Nintendo Shuntaro is taking over, bro. After reading the comments, it seems he was never meant to be president for long. He's apparently only given the role until they found a younger candidate for Iwata's successor. Really? Now, all right. So Kimi is—is is he going? Is he retiring totally from Nintendo? Or is he going back to the head of the board or something? He's got to prove himself to earn respect. You're right. You got to prove yourself. Just like Kimishima had to prove himself. Then again, Kimishima, his induction to the role was a bit different because it was after like a horrible, 
um, series of events at Nintendo where, you know, the prior president died. So, I mean, it, it was just a different set of stuff altogether. But he was, he, that nigga, he was the head of the fucking board. He was the chairman. The chairman arguably has more power than the president. But he's not the representative figure, though. I mean, it's like, it's like parliament and, you know, the king. Although, you know, P president of Nintendo definitely has power. But, I mean, the chairman, that nigga can get the president out of there. Um... This can't be real, nigga. I, I, you know, I'm gonna miss Kimishima as president. He'll probably still be at Nintendo, though. I feel, you know, like I don't think he's quitting the company as a whole. Very interesting, though, guys. Charity Boy is his name. No, I don't want to be disrespectful. God damn, though. <laughs> Eddie Kitami. Listen, <laughs> I'm not. I definitely won't disrespect her. She gets all the respect, my nigga. Um, let me see here. I'm going to probably and wow, I'm salt just sent me some bullshit. The new president in a fucking thumbnail in a nutshell. Long hair, thick glasses, backpack, shirt, tuck shirt, <laughs> wrinkle. Oh my god, man. That that's so fucked up. No, I'm not I'm not gonna de I'm not gonna I can't help it, man. The memes. They they literally put Otaku in there. But all right, man, I'm out of here. I just, I'm, I, like, I like reading the responses, but I do want to go to sleep too. We'll talk more about this in the morning, guys. Damn. The nigga saw a twig. Fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, I wish it was Kazumi. I'm not, I'm not familiar with a bunch of the big heads at Nintendo, but... Yo, Erica, my mom smoked DMT with me. I told her it was weed. Her trip lasted two hours, bro. She's still paranoid and anxious from the trip. I know you're lying because DMT only lasts 15 to 20 minutes at maximum. But you mean, unless you mean the effects stay with her for that long. Then I mean, or maybe like just her being disoriented from it stayed that. Why would you get your mom to smoke DMT? Uh, well, that's a bonding experience for sure. I wouldn't want to do it while looking at any human being because it fucks with your perception so much that you might see them turn into a demon right before your eyes. The nigga look like he goes, he, he has all the Nintendo waifu body pillows. Koizumi, oh, Koizumi, oh, my bad, I, I thought you, I thought you meant somebody else, Kazami or something, Koizumi, as the president, I, I, I mean, yeah, I, I fucks with Koizumi, you know, he's cool, I don't know if he's president material, I like Kimishima because he has so much history, the nigga literally has been on Nintendo's team for mad long, motherfucker, he's been, he's a Yakuza boss, but alright, change, change, you know, is inevitable, I'm more than open to it, man, let's see how big of an impact this man can make, 46 years old. He's so young, bro. He's damn near one of my contemporaries. Well, not really, but I mean, still, he's kind of close. Koizumi designs the consoles. He's not a finance guy. You know what, Abigail? You have a point there. It always did seem like he was more about, like, the hardware and shit. Etika, I love you now. Oh, thanks, man. Um, nigga, like a 90s fuckboy from Free Willy. <laughs> With that haircut. Ah... <laughs> uh... These fucking jokes, man. I feel like I'm gonna wake up and just see a bunch of people spamming on my timeline. Oh, Erica, no, nigga, look, bro, bro. Wait, look at his hairline. Look like a Christian cross. <laughs> what the fuck? But, all right, wait. What? Oh my God! No, you did not. You did not, nigga. No. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait up. Oh no. Oh no. Wait a second, nigga. Wait. 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 No. No, nigga. Don't make me do it. Please don't make me do it to him. Please don't. I. No. No. I don't want to do this. <laughs> oh my god. Nigga, <laughs> fucking. Oh my god. No, nigga. No. Nigga, no. <laughs> I gotta stop. This is our new president. We got <laughs> respect, everyone. Respect, respect, and respect. I'm not about to look crazy out here. I'm only doing this because it's a sponsor stream. Don't fucking make a clip of this. I'm salt. Get the fuck out of here, Aurora. Get the fuck out of here. No clips. That's fucked up. <laughs> Saitama saved this nigga when he was young, and he went on to become the president of the ten. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. No, 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 no. The nigga look like he eat applesauce, play Scrabble, and take nap, collect... <laughs> what does that even mean? 
okay i'm out of here guys i'll see you later um, can't wait to see more information about this change at nintendo in the morning thank you for tuning in and once again thank you to everybody who donated and helped me out financially man appreciate that guys definitely gonna go towards making um big moves in the future to bring content to the channel it helps out a lot thank you you know you'll continue to see your improvements here and there i try you know i love doing this so if you like seeing me do it then i'm glad you do the journey will be fun damn hold on a second what satoru shibata okay i didn't really fuck with the satoru that much i mean not satoru that's wait no sato oh his name is sato oh but anyways, um, Shibata, I, I used to see him a lot in the fucking directs. He's real cool. I think he's like a chill dude. He's stepping down as European Nintendo president, taking position in Japan as senior executive officer. So who's going to be the president of Nintendo at Europe now? This dude was the president for a long time, man. Damn, there's changes being made at Nintendo. But it's not like they're chopping heads. They're just giving niggas... He's... Is this like a... He's going back to Japan as a senior executive officer. Nigga, that sounds like a big position. The president of Nintendo Europe is now being changed out too. Who's the new prez? While Tatsumi is stepping down as president of Nintendo, Europe is going to have to find a new prez. They announced that their Europe president, Shibata, is stepping down and going to Japan for an even bigger position. That's what I thought, man. Executive, senior executive officer. That just sounds like it comes with a fucking big ass dick. Just, just you can just swing with a name, with a fucking title like that. So who's taking his spot? He'll be given the role of senior executive officer. It'll be sad to see him leave Europe because he's been there for so long, dogs. He's, he's a staple. But now he's on to even a better position. But will you ever see him on camera with the directs or anything again? So now Nintendo Europe has no president, bro. What's going on? Okay. Never liked the guy. I mean, I didn't... He was cool. I mean, I, I didn't... Like, if you show up on the directs and you have personality, this guy always had personality on the directs. So that's why I, I fucks with him. I didn't know too much about him, but I definitely fucks with him. He was cool in my book. But damn. Europe doesn't have presidents. They got kings. Oh, the, the, the emperor of Nintendo. <laughs> All right, guys. Now I'm out of here, man. Um, I appreciate the love. Bro, a lot of crazy news last minute. There's always something new. Bro, I can't even backtrack with news now. I was going to cover Labo and 420. That shit's old now. We are on to... Some different things, bro. Shit's crazy. But all right, guys. I'm going to see you. Yo, Luke, I'll see you later, nigga. Um, so long as Reggie's... Oh. Okay. You know what? Kimishima had a temporary role. And now we have some dude, 46 years old, new, fresh dude, looking crazy. But it's okay. That's okay. Nintendo of Europe... Their staple president, who's been doing the directs for quite a long time, is now being switched out. Financial moves are being made here, and I understand that. The business side of Nintendo, they're trying to upgrade. He's getting a position upgrade. Fuck the business when it comes to Nintendo of America. I swear. I swear. I swear with every fiber of my being. I mean this shit. You see my eyes are getting teary, bro? I mean this shit. If he, yo, if Reggie goes anywhere, position, if he is somehow no longer the president of Nintendo of America, bro, oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. There will, oh. Let, let me not even discuss it right now. I'm not even going to approach that thought because Nintendo knows better. Reggie's right. He, Reggie's good, bro. I don't want to think about that. All right, guys. I'll see you all later on. Take care of yourselves. And then have... If they bring Doug Bowser... <laughs> bro. You know the Arthur meme? Where it's, it's, it's the fist? It's, it's the Arthur meme. I'm not even... Oh, hell no. No. Doug Bowser replacing Reggie as president of Nintendo in America, bro? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, nigga. That's, that's when the shit changed. I'm not even, I can't even fucking sit down anymore. After having a thought like that enter my mind, guess what? My mood is now even more ruined. 
MTP Bryce, thank you. Yo, Etika, man, first time donator. I love your streams as always, and you've always inspired me to be real and improve and be a better streamer and person. So thank you for all that you do. I love you. And also, please keep up the great work and please check out my stream. I'd be hype. MTP Bryce, thank you. That was a very heartfelt donation. That came straight from the soul. Campbell Chicken Noodle, my nigga. I felt that shit right here. Very kind words from you, my friend. Thank you. I mean, I'm feeling crazy right now. The idea of Reggie... Bro, if I wake up in the morning and Reggie is not president of Nintendo, we're going to Japan. I'm getting a fucking ticket. And we'll go straight to the fucking office and we'll protest. We don't have rights over there like we would here in America because, you know, it's not America. But dogs, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to Japan. I'm going to protest that shit. I will sit outside of the headquarters until Reggie's back where he belongs, bro. They're not getting away with that shit. Not on, not on me. Not on me. But all right, yo, bro. I'm, I'm telling. I'm, I'm going. I'm going to Japan, bro. I'll book the fucking flight next week. But all right. That's. I'm just. You know. I'm being. I'm being extreme. Maybe it won't have to go that far. Um, MT, M, M, MTP though, thank you so much, man. Like really, that was heartfelt. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look your shit up. I normally don't ever look up people, cause you know, I don't got time, man. I barely have time to keep up with my own hobbies, much less find new ones. But I mean, hey, this is you, my nigga. Your streams be lit. Okay, you're live right now. You're playing that. Um, oh, I can't look at this because it's kind of like you know, I want to save my reaction, but I don't know if I'm gonna enjoy this, but. Thank you. Thank you for the donation, man. I, I gotta be real with you, man. I, I don't mean to be a jerk, but it's hard for me to be engaged with content. I'm already having a crisis in my life where the content that used to entertain me doesn't entertain me anymore. And the stuff that I find enjoyment from is just reducing. I've unsubscribed from so many YouTube channels, bro. It's just, it's just I guess my tastes are changing, but then again, no. I feel like it's just a matter of, I'm, I'm just tired of the same old stale kind of fucking content. To me, a lot of the shit that I used to enjoy, it's just like, it's, it's, it's stale now. But anyways, I'm out of here. I get, dude, and it's not just like other people. I see it in myself. Why do you think my videos have had such a radical change? I mean, watch me in 2016 and watch me now. There's a very big difference, but I get tired of my own shit, bro. Like it just, I, that's why everything has to constantly change, which is why I really want to get this fucking house, bro. Cause it just, I, I cannot deal with something consistently being the same way all the time. It just fucks with me. But anyways, I'm out. I'm going to see you guys, man. How are you going to compare if you don't have videos in 2018? Ah, real funny. Real funny. Um, nigga, you don't even post no more. What the fuck you mean? I post. I just don't post six videos a fucking day <laughs> like I used to. Besides, those are all shitty videos anyways. All right, niggas. I'm going to see you. I'm out. Peace out. Take care. Bye. Man, yo, Reggie, if Reggie's not the prez, bro... I'm catching a body.